Hey, 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 we live. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, goodness. This thing built a small audience for me here before I get started. Just got home good. About to get busy. But before I did, wanted to holler at my peeps for just a few minutes. Probably want to continue a little bit on what I talked about yesterday because there was a few things that I left off that I really, really, really wanted to get out there if I can remember what they were now. <laughs> and then I want to talk to you today about the three P's of success. So, um, if, uh, yeah, anyway, cool. You are live. We are building an audience for you. Thank you, Facebook. You're so kind. Keep going. Tell everybody. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends. Hey, Mike's on. Let's go check Mike out. Let's go check Mike out. Mike's on. So let's invite a few people. See if anybody wants to come on here with us. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so yesterday, what did I talk about yesterday? Oh, I talked about, um, we were talking about two things that hold people back in their business, right? We talked about, you know, people wait till everything's perfect. They wait till the scenario is perfect or the blog's perfect or the video's perfect and all that stuff, right? So we talked about that yesterday and then we also talked about not worrying about what other people think. So when you pop on here, just say hey, say hey, what's up? So, Dan Scott, what's up, brother? Hadn't talked to you in quite some time, man. What you been up to? Just hanging out on the East Coast still somewhere. I can't keep track if you're up north down here. I don't even know anymore, man. But we talked about yesterday about not waiting till all the pieces of the puzzle fit and get perfect before you get started, before you take action, right? You know, I actually have a on my on my wall on my Facebook. I forgot to grab something. Why I gotta let my dog out? He's been caged up all day, so I'm gonna go out there and let him run for a little while. Chilling, moved to Myrtle Beach again. <laughs> A few weeks ago. Sweet, dude. So, you about an hour and a half from me then. That's cool. Again. <laughs> Again. I got a thing on my Facebook wall on my banner. And my banner, it says, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Right? So, that goes back to what we talked about yesterday. If you want to be great at anything, I don't care if it's business, life, personal, whatever it is, you have to start. You have to get started. Samantha S. Wall. Did y'all get that? You got to put the S in there. Samantha S. Wall. That's how you find her, y'all. But you have to get started, right? You have to start before you can be great. Because if you just think about doing the best blog ever, but you never actually write it, or if you just think about doing the best video ever, or worry about how beautiful your face looks, or is my hair done, or what kind of shirt do I have on, if you go through all that and wait, 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 then guess what? Nine times out of ten, you probably just won't take action. You probably won't take action. So, that was the one thing I left off from yesterday that I wanted to kind of just share with you. Almost looked like a snake it was a garden hose there. But, um, but yeah, guys, you got to take action. You got to take action. So, you know, Eric Worre, in his book, Go Pro, when I read that book about a year or so ago, it really, really opened my eyes because so many times, you know, you may have a full-time job. Go on, Max. You got full-time jobs, and a lot of people, when you get into network marketing, you know, they're scared to tell people that they're in network marketing because, you know, that's that thing, right? That, that thing. You know, oh, you're doing that? And so a lot of people are embarrassed to even say they're in network marketing because they're worried about what people are going to say, right? They're worried about what people might think. Oh, that's that pyramid thing? Hey, right. hush. Say hi. Say hi, lady. 
Say hi, lady. I'm my dogs. Boxers. I love boxers. <laughs> so, my white one's deaf. Can't hear a thing. Deaf as she could be. Pretty little thing, ain't she? I catch myself calling her sometimes. Come here, peanut. I'm like, duh. She can't hear me. But she knows when she's been bad. But in the book GoPro, Eric Worre talks about if you're going to be a network marketer, then own it. Would you all agree with that? If you're going to be a network marketer, you got to own it. Because if you don't own it, then you're probably never, ever going to succeed in network marketing. Oh, man, my door will close. You'll never succeed in network marketing if you don't really own it. You can't do it half what? You can't be a halfway business owner. Would y'all agree with that? Samantha, would you agree with that? Oh, my connection's weak. I might have lost everybody. <laughs> so, if you're going to be a network marketer, then be a network marketer. And that's what Eric Warrior talks about in the book GoPro, is he talks about, you know, owning up to what you're doing. Own up to your business. You know, stand up and pronounce from the top of the hill that, hey, I'm a network marketer. You know, don't be ashamed of the fact that you're a network marketer. You know, and that was one thing that uh, that really hit home with me is, is I had to realize that if I'm going to do this thing, I'm going to do it. You know, I have, I'm going to own it. I'm going to actually, you know, stand up, stand tall, and own this thing. So, anyway, today's topic, real quickly, is the three P's to success, right? So what are the three P's to success? Well, I was listening to Les Brown today. And if, if you don't know who Les Brown is, he's an awesome motivational speaker. Um, you just have to do some research on him. I'm not going to go into a whole lot. But Les Brown, I love Les Brown. I love the way that he um, he trains. I love, the, the, I love his laugh, too. His laugh just, it gets me, right? But what Les Brown talks about is, he talks about the three P's to success. You know, and those are... Patience, persistence, and positivity. And I think that's so, so true if you're, if you're into network marketing, if you're into direct sales or online marketing, whatever you want to call it. You have to be patient, right? you got to understand that when, you build, when you're building a network marketing business, whether it's MLM, affiliate sales, direct sales, um, I don't really care if it's e-commerce. Whatever the case may be, when you're building any type of business, you have to realize that you're not going to come online and within a day be super duper successful and be some multi-billionaire in two weeks or a month or two months, right? Can you make money in, in, in a short amount of time? Yes, very much so. It's very, very possible you can make money. Will you be a six-figure earner in two weeks? No, you won't. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. So those people that have all these ads on Facebook groups and stuff like that where it says, Join our company and you'll be making 10 grand next month. Okay. If that was the case, everybody would be doing it. Just saying. Everybody would be doing it. Everybody would be rich. Nobody would be poor. We could feed all the, we, we could feed all the poor people where they could go ahead and get jobs too, right? If that was the case. But that's not the case. It doesn't happen like that. If you want to build a legitimate, legitimate online home-based business, right? If you want to build a legitimate home-based business, it's going to take time. You're going to have to be patient. Be patient, but steady the course. You have to put the work in now, but you have to be patient. And patience is a virtue, right? They say patience is a virtue. So make sure that you understand that the number one P is patience. You have to be patient. Hey, Matt, how you doing today? Good to see you here. Thanks for um, popping in and taking a few minutes out of your day to watch little old me. <laughs> We're talking about the three P's of uh, success. Number one is patience. So be patient when you're starting your business. Be patient and understand it's going to take time. Number two is persistence. You have to persist. Don't let anything get in your way, right? Don't let anything cause you to stumble and fall, get depressed, get down in the dumps and quit. Right, because if you quit, then I can promise you you'll never get to where you want to go. So 
Be persistent. Be, be persistent in your pursuit of your dreams. Be persistent in your pursuit of your visions, your goals, the things you have out in front of you, right? You should have your, your you should honestly have all your goals and visions of what your life is going to be. You should have that written out. If you don't have that written out, I want you to go ahead and go do that right after you get off this video. You need to go write down exactly what it is you want. And I would suggest do do short-term goals and do long-term goals. You know, a lot of people just set yearly goals. And that's good. That's cool that you can meet a yearly. But, but a lot of times what happens when you set a yearly goal is nine months into your, into your year, you still haven't achieved it. But in your mind, you're thinking, well, I got, man, I got three more months. I got plenty of time. And then you don't ever reach it because you forget all about it. So what I like to do is I like to set 30-day goals. I like to set 30-day goals. Okay, 30 days from now, you know, I'm going to have generated X amount of leads. 30 days from now, I'm going to get X amount of work done. 30 days from now, I'm going to have X amount of videos out. I'm going to have X amount of videos posted to YouTube. I'm going to do X amount of lives this month. I try to do at least a minimum of one every day. At least a minimum of one live every day at, at a bare minimum why because video is powerful people can connect with you and on live you actually can interact with your audience which is so freaking awesome right you can ask questions and they can interact and we can talk and have conversations and it's cool it's really really cool so number two is persistence so you need to have patience be persistent Last but not least is be positive for Pete's sake. Be positive. Don't be so negative. Nobody wants to be around no negative Nelly. Be positive. Try to find the positivity in every situation in your life. I recently, I recently got into a negativity slump, I'm going to call it. You know, where I was just negative about everything for about a week and a half. And I'm going to be honest with you, I felt miserable. Like, I started, like, physically getting sick. Like, physically. My throat was hurting, my head was hurting, wasn't feeling good. I honestly physically felt a difference in my body and the way that I, and the way that I felt from where I normally was. Because, for the most part, I try very hard to be positive. Even, even at work and stuff, you know, when things don't go my way, I try my best to... You know, deal with it and move on. And realize that, you know, okay, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I, I, I know that person doesn't like to do their job. And I know that person didn't feel like doing that. And it's not my place to do that. But you know what? I'll do it anyway. And so I try to be positive. I try to look for the good in everything. But let's just face it. You know, we're human. And so there's going to come times where you're going to go through little slumps. Where you're going to be negative. But for the most part, be positive. Be positive every day. When you wake up, try to find, try to think to yourself one of, of at least one thing that you can be grateful for. If when you wake up out of the bed, before your feet even hit the floor, you lay there in the bed and you go, you know, one thing, something different every day. Think of one thing that you can be grateful for. It may be the fact that you're laying in a bed. Because there's a lot of people that don't have that luxury. There's a lot of people that sleep on a floor or a street or in a box. Rain, snow, sleet, or shine. It doesn't matter. That's where they are. So you may wake up and go, thank you, Lord, or whatever your deal is. I do. I wake up and thank the Lord for all of my blessings. I thank Him every day for everything He's given me. And then I also thank Him for what He's about to give to me. Because you have to believe to receive your blessing, right? If you want blessing, if you want stuff poured into your life, you have to believe that you're going to receive it. That's where your vision comes in. You have to have that vision of that clear, concise vision of what you want to happen in your life. So when I wake up in the morning, I thank the Lord for everything he's done for me, but I also thank him for what he's about to do. And that's, how, that's just how I start my day. And then I get out of the bed, and my day gets started. And I'm ready to go. Take that time in the morning. Think of something, just one thing you can be grateful for. You'd be surprised at how different you'll start your day. You'd be surprised at how when you try to stay in that, well, when you stay in that, 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 uh, have an attitude of gratitude, mm -hmm. when you walk around in that attitude of gratitude all day long, 
you'd be surprised at how good it can make you feel. And then what happens is that aura about you radiates to everyone around you that you come in contact with. You'd be surprised at how your day would be changed. Try it one day. Let me know how it works out for you. So guys, those are the three P's that I, that I would say lead you to success. This, like I said, came from Les Miles. And that's, um, yeah, <laughs> that's basically what, what he said was you need to have patience, persistence, and positivity. Those three things in combination with each other will render you success in your life, success in your business as well. So guys, um, I hope you got some value from this today. If you did, like, share. Please leave me some comments on the bottom. I'd love to get your feedback. love to he think what, hear about what you think about the video today. I'd like to hear about it. So if you're watching the replay, thank you for coming on. Leave me some comments. Leave me some likes. Give me some big hearts. Love big hearts. Um, rocking my Victory Tribe shirt today for all my Victory Tribe members. But yeah, guys, just remember, just be positive. Be positive in everything you do. Be positive. Be persistent and have patience. And next thing you know, you'll see things start clicking for you. Okay? So if you want some cool tips and tricks and all that kind of good stuff on how you can build your business online, I've got some really cool resources over there on my blog. And it's at MikeWalkersBlog.com. Go over there right now and check it out. Actually, right now, I've got a cool Snapchat training on there right now. Put your name and email in, and bam, it's like an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Um, Six-figure earner actually did this cool Snapchat training where he shows how he started generating leads simply by using Snapchat. Crazy, right? Go over there right now and get it for free because it's fixing to come down. It's fixing to come down because I'm fixing to put my ebook on there. So I'm in the middle of writing an ebook. And when I get my ebook done, it's actually going to go in place of that training. So if you want it, you better hurry up and go get it right now because I'm not sure when I'm putting that ebook up. As soon as I get done, I should be finished by the end of the week. So uh, go ahead and go snag that. MikeWalkersBlog.com. Guys, y'all have a beautiful day. I'm going to get back to work. Love y'all. Peace.